Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I want to talk to you about how you would use eggshells to stop snails and slugs from getting onto your plants. And there is a, a couple of things you need to do to make it effective. I know when you read online it says sprinkle eggshells around your plants. Well, there's two things you need to know. First thing is, well, before we even get there, I just keep this container in my kitchen and I throw my eggshells in here as I use them. Once they dry, I break them down. First thing is you want to crush them so they look like this. This is about the size you want your eggshells. You want, you know, a couple larger pieces, some finer pieces, but you really want it to be something that is smaller like this. Don't drop in whole eggshells. Don't break them up just a little bit. You really want your eggshells to be crushed like this. You could even break them down a little bit more. Why does this work? This works because the eggshell edges are extremely jagged and the snails and slugs are soft bodied um, pests really. So that when they crawl across this or they come across an eggshell, it's going to stick to their mucous membrane and it's going to irritate them. So eggshells about this size if you want to effectively keep them off your plants. And this, the, the second thing is you have to make sure you put it down the right way. If this was your plant stem, and again it says sprinkle eggshells around. Well you could do this and a lot of people think that makes sense. That's eggshells sprinkled in there. And yes, some snails and slugs will walk across this and get irritated, but they're going to keep going and they're going to get to your plant. You have to make sure you make a thick barrier so that when the snails and slugs crawl across it, they get covered in the eggshells. You want them to think that they have miles and miles of eggshell to go across and therefore they're going to just stop and turn around. Now in different parts of the world you have different kinds of snails and slugs. If you have little tiny snails they're not going to be able to reach and stretch across here so this barrier is going to work perfectly fine. I have brown slugs that are about this big and I know that they can stretch extremely far so when I do this I want to keep my barrier a little bit wider and you would go all the way around and make a circle but you want the main barrier to look something like this so the snail or in my case slugs really aren't going to be able to stretch across and if they walk across here they're going to pull up all these pieces of eggshell the jagged edges will go in so you do have to know a little bit about what type of snail and slug you have in your area and how it works because of the mucus on the outer parts of the body this is water the slug or sn uh, yeah slug in my case will cross on there and these eggshells are going to stick to it irritate it hopefully puncture it so it dehydrates but it's going to stop and go through now you have to be very careful that after a rain you check what's going on because once there's sort of a breach of any kind sure enough they're going to figure out how to get in there so you always want to keep an eye on it but I just wanted to go over this that this is not as simple as sprinkling a couple of eggshells around your plant and it keeps them away they actually have to walk across this contact this so that it irritates and agitates their skin and then I guess really the last thing to think about is if you have leaves, like if you're growing kale or cabbages, if the leaves come and bend over and touch outside of the barrier, they're going to go right to that and crawl onto your plant. So hopefully this gives you some idea of how to use eggshells in your garden to most effectively stop snails and slugs from getting to your plants. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.